what up for my woke folk it is sky i'm back out the journey what's good okay so i recently today came across this news uh what do you even call it the news show the news channel the fox news six six news you know fox is the devil's numbers and numerology okay anyway so it's my local news i live in maryland this land is very merry not uh and they are talking about how DC, that's how close we are to DC or far, whatever. They are talking about how a city right now or on Monday, they had lifted uh, the, the, the breathing prohibitor mandate, if you know what I mean. They lifted it, right? Here where I live, they also lifted it for only seven days and now on Saturday they are putting it back we're gonna now have to wear the we're gonna now have to wear breathing prohibitors now at my job we always had to wear it you know you just you always gotta wear it okay the job where I work you know they they're pro everything okay they they okay but I just think it's crazy that a city is going to lift it and I mean where I live in Montgomery County it's not a city per se it's not like hundreds of people walking down the street but it's still a good amount of people but it's still less than DC so I'm like wouldn't you want to anyways our governor here or whoever he is here has said that once we reach 85% magic potion then we're, we're gonna lift it it's just it's just stupid it's just stupid um hopefully i'm able to play this clip that i watched go ahead and take a look at this is bringing it back we want to start in the district yeah that's where masks will no longer be required indoors that starts monday the mayor saying there will be exceptions though for schools and public transportation so breathing prohibitors in dc will no longer be uh mandated or whatever in indoor areas in indoor areas except maybe schools why schools why do we need it in the schools oh so that the kids can become more um you know freaking out anxious uh because you know that's what happens when you when you're not getting enough uh oxygen to your brain why do this to the kids but you're not going to do this to the people who are working in restaurants or people who are working in offices and cubicles. Why? But it's okay. It's for our own good. Oh my gosh, guys, please calm down. I'm literally just saying what's going on. I am not, you know, I am not trying to state a fact or prove a point or anything. I'm just saying what's going on that, you know, this is crazy. Like I get but it's for our own good, and that's the that's all that matters. That's all that matters. We wear breathing prohibitors, you know, maybe we, maybe it's better for us not to breathe properly and even retain information and possibly repeat a grade because we couldn't retain information because we didn't get enough oxygen into our brain. So therefore we're going to have to repeat the grade with the breathing prohibitor again. It's okay. It's for our own good. You know, it's okay that we, you know, have to maybe get the sauce in order to be okay even though we're already okay according to the cdc when nobody looks at it but it's okay it's okay don't worry you know it's okay anyways let's continue watching this meanwhile montgomery county reversing course now doing an about face announcing its mask mandate will return this saturday there's a lot to sort through the question is why that's why we sent lindsay watts to gaithersburg for answers tonight hey lindsay for the first time in my life the news is actually capturing something where I've been and I go frequently. I know where this location is. I go there at least once or twice a month. I know exactly where this place is. Now, have I been there this late before? It looks on the thing, it says it was 10, it was at 10.03. I've not been there that late, not that I can recall, not recently, not within the last year. Um, but something stuck out to me that, you know, it's just, so many okay let, let, let's break it down it's just that i 
know a lot of people that live around the area and th this this place that these people are going to the place that they are filming is uh frequented a lot the people i follow on instagram go there a lot um my family goes there a lot someone would have posted something about seeing the news people in our town they would have but they didn't this is just me making a, a a long shot here i'm just what i'm trying to say is there's no way that these people are just getting random people off the street or it's very it doesn't seem as though they would be it seemed as though they had already picked these people and hey let's shoot out an interview really quick shoot it out really quick because we don't want people to see us okay i i guarantee you that out of all the people that i follow on instagram at least like 500 people someone had to be there at around that time someone that i know works in one of those restaurants because i worked at a restaurant and i follow people who go from restaurant to restaurant i know that they would have posted this but anyways just take a look at how these people are uh, commenting it hasn't even been three weeks since we were telling you about montgomery county ending its mask mandate now it is coming back. As of Saturday, everybody will once again have to wear a mask indoors. Montgomery County Council decided the mask mandate will return after seven days of what the CDC defines as substantial transmission of COVID. And unfortunately, today we hit that seventh consecutive day. Guys, um, I want y'all to know, I want y'all to catch this body, this nonverbal body language cue, okay? The vice president of the Montgomery County City Council was asked if you acknowledge that this is um, confusing. He deliberately, he shakes his head no. He says no. He shakes his head no. But he says something totally contrary. We talked to vice president of Montgomery County Council, Gabe Albernaz. Do you acknowledge this is confusing to people to be going back and forth like this? We acknowledge it. We acknowledge it. We do, uh, but we also acknowledge that the virus is still here. It hasn't entirely left. And so we do need to make sure that we take appropriate steps. And because we're in the middle and have not yet completed the process of providing back kids between five and 11. DC is getting rid of its indoor mask mandate, despite still being in that substantial transmission category. In Montgomery County, the council decided it will only abandon the mandate for good when 85% of the county is vaccinated. So I think it's a safety ma measure mm -hmm. uh, for a safe community. We heard varying perspectives on the mandate's return. To me, you kind of set moving goalposts for everybody. So if you're going to tell somebody, hey, if you do this, you don't have to do this. So if you get them, if you do this, you don't have to wear a mask. But if they're as effective as they are supposed to be, then why do you have to do both? I guess see both ways. I do understand why they um, want to bring it back. But I think also people should have their, they should be free to choose whether or not they want to wear it or not. If we're getting actual random bystanders that are just walking down the street, just regular old people, everyday people out the gym, if we're getting regular people to come and give an interview, don't you think it would take a longer time? Don't you think the odds of me seeing this would be greater than whatever? So he thinks it's a safe he he thinks it's a safety measure for the community yet his mask is down okay take note that every single one of these people are wearing black and white just just saying why couldn't they have been wearing pink why couldn't they they have been wearing uh baby blue here you have it my woke folk they gave out three great examples you got one guy in the middle you got a girl that's uh free for all if you want to get it get it if you don't want to get it there's no one that's set in stone they're not going to show you somebody that is a hard no on the magic potion they're not going to show you someone yeah you should totally get it and like the guy the first guy yeah he seemed like he was forward but the whole time he had his mask down so what's 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 even the point uh i thank you guys for tuning back in i'm really excited to be back and doing some videos um i do think in the future in the near future 
I will be doing live streams because it's easier to do that and um, I don't have to edit it's gonna take a while to edit and stuff like that so if you would just let me know some stuff that I should look into some stuff that you want me to uh, cover um, you know we can make this our channel instead of just stuff that I bring out and it doesn't have to be related to this it could be uh, just random things that just that just ain't right like I was sitting here thinking earlier about how school took up a lot of my time and even when we were out of school we were sent home with summer packets almost from each main class like summer packet for social studies which is history which why is social studies why is it called social studies when it's actually about history why is it social okay um math packets english packets just packets it's like they even though you get a break from school you don't they really just want you to stay indoctrinated and learn the stuff that they want you to learn but again it's for our own good and you know it's better to know the past because knowing the past yeah it's better to know the past and that whole sentence that i just said makes a lot of sense so I really hope that no one tries to come for me because everything that we're being told ever anywhere is for our own good. Okay, thanks everybody. Give this video a like and subscribe because I am coming back. I'm back and there will be more vids. Stay safe and I don't mean in the way that everyone means.